Shugenja is a class inspired by the mythologies of Asian cultures. The Shugenja is a divine spellcaster who can cast spells by attuning himself to the primal energies around him and focusing such energy through his body to produce magical effects. In D&D 3.0 it was introduced in Oriental Adventures and then later updated in Complete Divine in D&D 3.5. In this video I'll tell you how I represent such spellcasters and girls, basing them on sorcery. Shugenja in D&D have a large spell list, but they have to specialize in a single element – air, earth, fire, water and void. They become unable to cast spells of the opposing element. I decided to treat it slightly differently. I force the Shugenjas to select three out of the following five colleges air, earth, fire, water and void, represented by the Knowledge College. This applies limited scope Shugenja, minus 20% limitation to the sorcerer's empowerment advantage. And here's the most questionable thing. In D&D, Shugenja are divine spellcasters, but their description says that they attune themselves to the primal energies around them and focus such energy through their bodies to produce magical effects. That doesn't seem divine at all. Should we use elemental minus 10% power modifier? It seems so, but then void does not fit at all. And there's nothing about attunement there at all. Let's think. This attunement sounds like pact minus 10% that forces the Shugenja to take disciplines of faith Monasticism or mysticism, minus 10 points. Should the Shugenja neglect this, his power fails him the first time he calls upon it under stress. That's plus 0% modifier. To restore it, he must take 1d days to reattune himself. That's again plus 0%. Until he does, he feels ill due to being out of tune with the elements. The GM should choose one of the afflictions from the irritating conditions – coughing or sneezing, drowsy, nauseated or pain. Seems familiar? Of course it does, that's literally the Qi minus 10% power modifier. But for the sake of flavor, let's say that the powers are imparted by elemental deities or archimentals, even without the Shugen just knowing. So the power will still be classified as divine. Thus, Sorcerer's Empowerment has its magical minus 10% power modifier replaced with Shugenja minus 10% that is described above. This does not change the cost. Abilities imparted by buff spells should have a Shugenja plus 0% power modifier. They do not depend on the subject's elemental attunement. In addition, the description says that the Shugenja use Ofudas with their spells written on them as a divine focus. This applies requires a Fuda, minus 10% to all spells. Finally, Sorcerer's Empowerment Shugenja costs 16 points for level 1 and 8 points for additional level. Aside from that, the description says that the Shugenja are not bound to their monastery or temple, but are wanderers. They still might have the claim to hospitality advantage for their temple. They also can perform a variety of services, such as marriages, exorcism and funeral rites, so it might be appropriate to give them clerical investment and maybe legal immunity of a certain degree, or social regard. And that's it, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.